Hi, Andrew. This is Alan Cocker with ABC, hitting coordinator for the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm going to run through your video today. We'll let it run through a couple of times. And we'll talk about a few things that I think are important for a hitter. Uh, I really like your setup position. I think you're good and balanced. Uh, you have good bend in your knees. You're standing up tall with your upper body, so it looks like you're getting a good two-eyed look at the pitcher. Um, I watch your load, and, and you're, you're kind of just stepping away from your hands, which uh, absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's um, a lot of good hitters over the years that have, that have just basically stepped away from their hands. Uh, we want to make sure, Andrew, that you know, even, even with this type of load, that we, when we get it down, we set, the, we set the stride foot down. That load is early enough that that stride foot lands so that uh, it's, it's not time to swing. We want just a little bit of separation, a little bit of pause of set it down, and then we're, we're going to check some positions and make sure that, um, that everything is good. Uh, when we set that stride foot down uh, right here, there's a position that all these hitters get into, and that is good equal bend in both knees. Okay, Good bend there. This, that looks good. Uh, both knees are inside the feet. Okay, you're in a good position there. The hips are square, the shoulders are square, and the head is right over the belt buckle. I like what I see there. The only thing that that I see that makes me think that you look, you, you're a little bit rushed, uh, is that that bat is starting to to in this angle right here. We're going to sweep the bat through the hitting zone. This particular point when that stride foot is down. Uh, we'd rather see just a little bit more angle like this with that bat, okay? And that just puts us in a position to, to, to get some good good time for some pitch recognition. And uh, we haven't really started our swing yet at this particular point. The other thing that I look at uh, very closely is the stride foot. Uh, with the stride foot, when, when that stride foot lands, we want to make sure that this stride foot is no more open than 45 degrees. And... You're at 47 degrees, so really you're in pretty good position there. Uh, if the stride foot opens up too much, too early, uh, beyond 45 degrees, really this front hip starts to open up a little bit, and it makes it a little bit difficult to uh, to stay on pitches that are out or half, uh, stay on any type of off-speed pitch, a breaking ball or a changeup. So uh, really everything looks pretty good. I just like to I just like to see this bat angle more in this position right here uh, at this particular point and uh, because your bat ankle is, is, is laid out flat a little bit flatter it looks like uh, maybe you're just a little bit rushed and, and the ball's j getting on you just a little bit too quickly okay but as we start to get into the swing uh, your elbow drops down into the slot very nicely we get a nice line here with the back elbow the hand the hands, the back elbow, and the back hip uh, all line up. And then as we start to bring the hands forward, okay, and we get to contact, what we want to see is, is a palm up, palm down position. And we've gotten through, uh, the, the video didn't catch your, your contact position, but uh, uh, I like the fact that we're, we're extended here at uh, past contact. That means you're getting through the ball. Uh, pretty quickly, uh, we want to have you know a nice long full finish uh, after after contact, and we're just going to see where your back goes. We kind of pull it across a little bit, but but not too bad. Really, uh, pretty good position with um, the nice full long finish. Uh, really, I think the only thing that I notice that uh, it just looks a little different to me is the fact that. Uh, when you start to stride and the hands go back, there's there's not a lot of separation time in, um, in in making sure that we have ample enough time to get a good read on the pitch and and be able to stay on the balls, particularly the balls away. So I think really the best drill for this is 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 really a T drill, and we're going to try to get to that loaded position and when that foot sets down right right about. Let me stop it here, right at touchdown. When that foot sets down, we want to see, you know, rather than the bat being laid off right here, we want to see that bat angle just a little bit more in this position right here, okay? Really, the best way to practice this type of stuff, Andrew, is, is off a tee, and we can set that tee middle, 
uh, maybe even middle away. We'll set it out here even with our, our stride foot on the outer part of the plate. We'll put a ball on it. And, and um, actually, we're going to set that tee pretty high. Um, so we'll set that tee up here, top of the strike zone, maybe just right at the leather, letters on your jersey. And we're going to make sure that we stride early enough that we have good separation so that we can get up here to handle this ball that's high. Usually when we're a little bit late and we drag that barrel or sweep that barrel from here, it's tough to get on top of this pitch and hit a line drive. So what we're trying to do is, is get up there and get on plane, get our hands on plane with that pitch that's at the top of the zone and, and just hit a line drive to the back of the cage. Uh, if we've got it set up middle of the way, it'll be a line drive that we'll hit through the second baseman, maybe even into right center, um, and, and, and just give ourselves a chance to, to get up there with that high pitch. Uh, most of the time, when we're late, the high ball, we miss it on the underneath side of the ball. So uh, with, with our bat laid off in this, in this direction, uh, usually that bat will drag, and when it does, the barrel of the, of the, of the bat will slip underneath the high pitch. So uh, high T, middle, middle away. And, and again, let's set it up here uh, right about at the letters, right at the top of the strike zone. And let's work on, let's work on getting loaded. You, you get into a good position, uh, but it just, it's just late. So let's make sure we get there early enough. We're going to get some good separation. I'm here. My bat angle is, is more up in this position up here. And now I can get my hands up there and I can stay through this ball and hit a line drive. Okay? Andrew, I want to thank you for coming to our camp, bud. And best of luck.